<laughs> like announced it. It was very funny. And now even even Nam gets to hear about it. Nam sitting in his chair. Yeah, now yeah, <laughs> Smashers giving him it was funny uh, giving him the rundown of why that shouldn't have happened. After the replay, Man, ended, I might have to leave. It cut straight to Nam, and they were both sitting in the exact same thing because Nam was listening to Smasher complain about <laughs> it. So it just faded in. <laughs> like Smasher, like yeah, what Smasher is Smasher transformed? What is it into? like the Animorphous books or whatever? Yeah, Animorphs. Yeah, <laughs> Animorphs. <laughs> That's exactly just kind of turned into Smasher. Oh, and I'm here, the set's starting, so it's Falcon Cheek. It should be short. I got time to do this one. But I just oh got to make sure I geez. have time to go buy my Sadness Tacos. It's sadness very important tacos. on Thursday when I get double eliminated by Canadians <laughs> that I have time to go get Sadness Tacos. <laughs> double eliminated by Canadians yeah. to get some Sadness Tacos. I think I'm going to have to. Uh, I got single eliminated. I lost to Nanaba and Slam today. So I'll get a... I'll get, uh, one sadness talk. You got to get two, though. I, I get a sadness box. <laughs> oh, my I God. I go all out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead. Yeah, I, I get a cheesy gordita crunch box, and then I get a quesarito. Oh, my God. I love quesarito. I actually. Yeah. Can my, I marry you? If yeah, yeah. That's, that's I, uh, Gucci. I go all that's out. Incredible. You got to try Thursday this. Thursday is the one day I load up on calories, and then the whole rest of the week, I eat really, really well. So that when I suck at Smashfield, <laughs> I can buy all the tacos I can possibly fit in my stomach. Jesus. Like a middle aged girl that just yeah. got broken Ooh. up with it. She got uh, the half Ooh, like pint that. of ice cream. Exactly. That's Jordan Yeah, yeah. I definitely I get like, I have in my sadness tacos, I've gotten the Cinnabon delights. And also, one time I was so sad that I got my quesarito and box, and then I drove to McDonald's and got a McFlurry. Oh I'm not God. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's my. Th that's how I, I handle loss. I think I've, I've the closest thing I've done to that is, um, Burger King has by far above and beyond the best shakes. The Oreo shake at Burger King is absolutely oh, the, insane. Oh, the be yeah, the yeah. Big Oreo. Be they give shake. you like the extra large straw. Yeah, it's like a wide straw. <laughs> that thing is so good, good because it got such big Oreo pieces. You I've, need that big straw. I've like I've had the same situation. Oreo like, BK Sunday shake. That's I'm gonna called. eat my heart out. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of Taco Bell. I got a steak quesarito, the meal. Um, I got a Chipotle chicken griller and I got nacho cheese on the side because oh. dipping the Chipotle chicken griller in nacho cheese is above and beyond the best thing. <laughs> That's right. And then the <laughs> I have to I, w I have to talk about this game. Right. Uh, it, I, Rune's got a cool kill at the beginning. Nam got a very Nam esque oh edge guard. Nam is amazing at edge guarding Falcon. Uh -huh. um, Oh, oh if he uh, if he would have landed one more up here, I think it would have combined into a nair that would have killed way over off the side like that, yeah. but didn't get the combo and that needle somehow didn't hit this this matchup i've watched seth play against nam so many times and it's i can i can feel the frustration that falcon has yeah. to endure and it's it's clear that runes nice has read, but also a, nice an reaction. amazing state of mind to just really stick it through with this and falcon can win it i uh -huh. hate watching it when it's seth yeah but i love watching Ooh. it in any other situation nope no nope. fish, can fish is good at stopping momentum it's like uh it's like, there's a couple moves there, like that Wario's bike, uh, Tatsu, yep. Tatsu does it. Yep. There's a couple, and Bounce Fish is one no of them. Ooh, and no tech. You, if Nam's going to lose a game, you don't see him lose it for uh, some silly. missed tech, especially a missed tech on Falcons Up B when you have so much time to prepare. Believe tech. it or not, the second tech I ever hit in tournament was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and it was against Falcons That's Up B. Funny. Falcons <laughs> Up B is, I think, the easiest move to tech. My first one was uh, against Maloney, against a limit cross ledge, like right at the ledge. <laughs> yeah, it's because you got lots of time to think, <laughs> oh, like, I need to tech. Oh, yeah. Man, this is going to hurt. <laughs> I'm going to push the shield button. Yeah. <laughs> That's two, funny. Um, um, but yeah, Falcons up is so easy to tech that a lot of people run off and tech it on purpose. Like Ally, when I'm Falcon, he runs off, gets hit by my up on purpose yep. so that he can, can ledge tech and, yep. and dunk. Yep. He thinks he's so goddamn cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to see if uh, Nam can do something cool here, which he is. He's Like I said in the last set where he lost game one, I can see yeah. in, in my mind's eye, I can see Nam winning this game very convincingly. Yeah. And no, then I mean, come down Sheik to has the three. tools to do it. And at this point, it feels like, you know, Nam at the disadvantage. Nam getting edge guarded here. Nam, oh, Ooh. my God. Oh, Ooh, my man. God. And we were talking about Runes trying to have patience against the Sheik matchup. It looks like Nam has to reel it back a little bit, get a bouncy fish just like that, get an edge guard. Yeah. So yeah, Runes is doing really well of uh, not putting himself in a position to get smothered by Sheik, which is what Sheik does to Falcon. Saving his jump like that and that up oh my with the sparks. Yeah, <laughs> jump, air dodge, and then reverse up B to prevent the edge guard. That's a, that was a really good play yeah. with how difficult it is not to get edge guarded by Nam as any character, much exactly. less as Falcon. Yeah, you know, you got to be, you have to have 
300 IQ if you're going to be off stage against Sheik as Falcon. And so Rune says, hey, check this out. He <laughs> shows you. Look, look at this. I believe it or not, I'm in Mensa. And he goes <laughs> for that. Oh, that yeah. down smash killed. Sent him yeah. to the right. He was Chirp, definitely on the left. I said Chirp because I saw Chirp the name. Chirp the tag. Uh, Shout out Nam. to Chirp Humble. <laughs> Shout out to Chirp Humble. But Nam was actually talking about how uh, he really wanted to utilize down smash a lot more because he thinks that he can do silly stuff like that. And it works out for him. So there it is. Ooh, back throw. But bouncing fish saving him once again. No rage. Runes. Man, runes. runes Threatening just, the edge. Yeah. Like, grab the edge. I am all over it. No trump there. Oh, but that down air is not I, what I, you want. I'm really Maybe. impressed with how Runes played on the ledge right there that mm -hmm. whole entire time. Yeah, it's, if, if you, if one of these characters are gonna ledge trap a lot, you assume yeah. it's gonna be Sheik. Yep. Like, Falcon can contest Sheik in the matchup in general, but it's all off of explosive punishes and and oh grab. My God. Oh, I thought conversions. That was, you're gonna be something not off crazy. of ledge trapping or edge guarding. Yeah, so I agree with that. I mean, it, when you're when you're off stage against Falcon, you he still has a lot of stuff. And <laughs> with me, anyways, everything that goes in my mind is, oh my god, Falcon's going to do something incredibly obnoxious and kill me at zero. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just that Sheik doesn't get edge guarded nearly as much as, yeah. like, maybe less than any character besides Bayonetta. She's hard to edge guard. Not impossible, just hard. And, you know, as hard as it may be, Runes is, this is what we're talking about, you know, Runes is making it look possible. He's, he's yeah. bringing it to him. He's a game up. He's, he's got the he's rage. He's one, one stomp or knee. If he gets a knee, he wins this set. Exactly. So Runes has got a. Oh my God! Oh, and he, oh I, if that was the knee, I would have. That was the perfect opportunity. I would have standing ovation. You everything. know, <laughs> you want to know what's interesting is I only played Falcon for the first year this game was out, but I got more stomp knees than I got up air knees. <laughs> oh my God! I'm really bad at up air knee, but when I stomp on someone, I'm ready to go for the knee. Oh, he nice jump read. Jump. That's Nam. Dude, Nam is amazing at jump reads. Really? He's one of the best. He's very, very good at it. And it all pays off right there, getting him back to an even match. We are right. one to one. So we'll have to see how game three goes. You know, I've talked, I've, I've, I had the pleasure of commentating over Runes sets a few times, and um, I've always said Runes is always the kind of guy in game two and three he's gonna, he's just gonna turn it around. He's gonna flip the switch and do his thing. You can see he's taking a deep breath, and we'll have to see what that switch entails, what turns on, what turns off. Yeah, I, I would be very scared to be Runes in this situation because when you when you have such an opportunity, like he had he had the opportunity to yeah, win this set, yeah. and he lost it. And knowing that going in, not only that you've got the, I just blew my opportunity, I was so close, right. but knowing that Nam, like the, the momentum that Nam's now riding into the game three, all yep. three games on Smashville, by the way. Uh, ooh. Jumps up, doesn't get the jump read that time. Surprised we didn't start on FD since I know that Nam loves to do that, and if I runes, I would much rather do that in this matchup. Yeah, FD is pretty nice for both of these guys, actually. It's so. just like this. It's, uh, FD for Falcon is like Smashville, except without the risk of the fair train. Yep. Oh, oh, the weak hit. It lives. Weak hit so. almost killed because he got the charge, but this is what I'm saying is like, oh there's God. a really good chance when you miss the game two opportunity that runes had to uh -huh. just get blown back this game three. And it seems like Nam is really trying to. He's really smothering to him let now. him know. Yep. Like you should you had you blew it, and this is what happens. Exactly, and this is the kind of Falcon Sheik matchup that we Ooh. are used to seeing. Like this is the yeah. dynamic. Like on paper, you look at the matchup on paper, and this is what it is. Yeah. This is what we're seeing right now. I agree. Um, so until that's it's funny because what's supposed to happen is that Falcon gets up to this percent and then gets the first kill. <laughs> oh my! I'm God, telling you, dude, what? unbelievable! <laughs> right unbelievable! <laughs> Max Rage, oh, Max Rage. Man, how did he get that kill? Oh, wow. That I like that runes went lower than he yeah. can't, he can't up B back to the ledge from how low he went. Right. But he could grab Nam. Yeah. Like that was the only way he's going to make it without getting edge guarded is to go so low and just up B back toward Nam. And it's even more impressive that, you know, Nam was able to punish that and get the stock for that. So. Yeah, luckily for Nam, he had the up B invincibility, so yep. still hit him, but. Man. So we'll have to see if we can get a round two of what you were talking about earlier. Falcon, which is. Yeah, get up to about like maximum rage yes. and then just blow up. So I was telling Seth in commentary a moment ago is why Nam doesn't like Battlefield for Falcon. is because Nam's whole entire game plan with his whole entire thing is to just pick away at him, win neutral a hundred times, and not let <gasps> not let that Falcon get the one unbelievably effective neutral win that he exactly, wants. Because yep. that's all it takes for him. And 
Oh my god, jumping over that bouncing fish. Man, this is... Oh, the I'm, jab. I don't know if Rune's ever beaten that one. He, may, he probably has at some point. I'm not sure, but okay. this is... Uh, oh, he gets around that this back This quite an upset. Oh, that power shield. He's, Rune's has actually lost... Oh, nice bouncing fish. So much momentum in this last game. <gasps> How did he go big. behind that? That was insane. He's going to get the dash check to punish. Gets an up air. Gets another up air. Man, Rune's didn't even trade with that up air. He just up air cheeks Nair and... Bloom away. So much percent here, and this is, this uh, is so uh, uh, tense. Yeah, this it really way. is. I did not think this was going to be this close. Oh my god, that back air. This, sucks. this is him. scarier, I think, for Nam than it is for Runes. Okay, the Nair gets on that platform. Air dodge. Dude, that made my no whole body. Punish. I felt like I went, like, I just dropped <laughs> down the first hill of the Millennium Force just now. Oh, and he goes Fantastic. so low. He can't air dodge. He can't get another. That there. was very, very good. I hope Runes doesn't feel bad about it. He played amazing. Yeah, for that sure. That was a good set by both players. Uh, Whew, my a, heart's pumping. A bummer, I would say, because everybody wants to see the upset and you want to see runes beating them would be a big deal. But 